And hello everyone, Shannon here for another episode. Now, today we're gonna fight the Tigrex and I'm gonna talk about a Gigiel. Okay, this is, this is gonna be my armor set, G full Genoga with the Hidden Gun Lens. Feline Bomber, which actually increases the power of my shelling. And a lot of skills. Now, it's time for the cinematic. Okay, first fail. I brought, as you saw before, heat resist. No, actually not heat resist, but heat eliminate, which is useless because it's the night. I just saw the desert and brought it. Anyway, first off, I'm gonna fight this pain in the ass. I usually hate this guy. In Free Night, his moves are both unfair and overpowered. And he still likes eating. Oh, wait, that's an un. And done something before he usually ate Popo. Poor little Popo. Okay, now let's go. The first time I fought this guy, I actually used the gun lens as well. It was called the Helsing, which had a little bit of ice power, which is useless. Now, let me talk about Agigail. Agigail stands for Auto Guard Gun Lens. And sorry if. Agigel sounds a little more, a little weird because that's just how I say it in my language. What it means is basically using the jewel or have this clip clipped, auto guard, you know where it is. I used it actually. I'm not sure how I didn't find it out by accident. Someone told me about it, then I decided to check on it and had searched a lot just to find out what it meant. And first mistake here, never, never attack him in the front. Basically, it's it exploits a bug in the game, a bug, a hack, uh, an exploit, call it whatever you want. It's not meant to be there. And come on, really? What it does is that the game wasn't programmed to have auto guard. Actually, it was programmed for it. It, it just they just didn't count on it. And it a happens that when you shell you're guarding at the same time, so if you pop a shelling you you never leave a single a single moment of invulnerability because while you're shelling you're guarding when you finish guarding you still have the auto guard come on big guy I'm waiting for you they're going so bad when he does that in the snow it's usually more annoying because you can get snowman status okay second charge now the only rule I have about his movements is that I should wait for the free charge which is let me see if he does it what? that's new um, the free charge basically is when he charges three times in a row he doesn't do it very often but it's the only moment I'm sure of he leaves an opening now that's what I find the most unfair about that guy you can jump to the side and he'll still d hit you with his arms what? oh okay out of stamina okay I'm gonna get, get annoyed there and here's the free charge I told you about now the thing I like about free charge is that screw you I was gonna say he always taunts after it and he should have taunt I mean this guy can fly it doesn't look like he can fly well I guess he did do that taunt after landing I'll just count it for the free charge. He did a free charge, then he taunted. This guy can be pretty dumb. When he's not in rage, you don't really have much to worry about. Okay, thank you, cat. That moves is very annoying. This one's annoying as well, because it's the only thing he does when you're behind him. Now, I find it funny how most monsters, no, every monster has a dodge path. You either jump to the left or to the right. When you want this guy, 
you should always jump to the right because his left hand is the one that usually gets extended crap Well, you just unleashed my power, so... Okay, now let me sharpen. Um, and th that's actually quite funny, because if you're fighting a Raytheon, not Raytheon, you, you always jump to the left as well. No, to the right as well. Because the first fireball usually goes to, to the left, then to the right, then to the middle. This way, if you jump to the left, you can easily evade that first one. Then jump back to evade the other two. Come on. Okay, still not. I don't think he's managed to hit me with that even once. Actually, hitting the Tigris in the head does a lot of damage. But it's so hard to win for the head when he has two claws going up against you that you get discouraged. Okay, I'm gonna try to flash this guy. Ah, too far away. Tail. <laughs> Called it. Ah, okay, counting on the stagger there. I remember when I fought him the first time, I remember spending at least 10 minutes just going into the area, doing two hits, then jumping back to the other area, then rinsing and repeating it over and over and over again. Okay, guess he's hungry. Hello! Did that hit? I'm sure that hit. Fail there. Ah! Guess for a change I managed to reload in time. This arm is done. Really, the, the gunless really uses a lot of sharpness, and even though I have that skill that decreases the amount of stamina, which sharpness that's used, I still need to sharpen a lot. Now he's gonna talk. Really? Okay, yes, his pattern w was changed from Freedom Unite to here. I shouldn't be counting on the monster saying the same game after game. This is a very annoying move, especially when he gets you in the distance where you cannot... where you, you end up having to block it twice. When that happens it's annoying because it consumes nearly all your stamina. When you manage to block to block the first and not get hit by the second so is best. Okay. You, you're not dealing enough damage to keep this guy staggered. Stagger locked. And you're not bringing up the fence to survive his staggers. And his moves. Now, because of that Agagael, I'm not gonna use Auto Guard. Although, I'm I'm not certain, but I actually think it's possible to play it with the auto guard without taking advantage of the exploits. Um, it just means that you need to be careful not not to be hit during sh shellings. Okay, you just jump back. Oh, I guess he's doing something. He's Starting to the front, then to the back. I don't really get it. 
You will be at him. What are my cats doing? I don't really notice them. I guess that means they're usually recovering. Now there's a good thing for my cat to do. Now if I had Agagel that would have blocked. Because I was mid shell while he was doing that. I had to resist my urge to charge forward. I actually find the gunless be. I, I think I've said several times the gunless is my favorite weapon. Although I don't really like weapons that block, it just it's just its ability to suddenly deal a massive amount of damage. You can just lay low, lay low, lay low, then suddenly and that guy's dead. And a large barrel bomb. I still wanted to do that, but I kept pressing the wrong buttons. Ah! <laughs> okay, blocked it just in time. I mean, is that his third or fourth consecutive large barrel bomb? Or is it just me? I think I'm gonna end up killing him just with large barrel bombs. Where do you go, Spartacus? Okay, now time to put the finishing blow and I have no idea where he's going. The reason why I took some time to post in this video, I really like to put the video every other day, but because I had... Well, you know, when you spend too much time on the computer and you are starting to almost bleed and start being very red, I was kind of prohibited from seeing screens or playing games. No, there's a nice thing. Not really sure how much damage this shelling, this kind of shelling does, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's raining cats. <laughs> okay, all I need is an opening. Okay. Awesome. There he did it again. That thing where he pumps back or something. Okay, got your flash this time. Come on. Stupid Narga weapons have uh, have absolutely no range. Crap. Now this is why I don't really like to flash this guy. It's useful half of the time, but the other half of the time it just makes him a lot more unpredictable. Then again it gives you a small opening right when it's used, which can be ex explored to get some t some stagger when it is near that. That's why I used it. Do I still have my... Okay, probably I already used all my first aids. You haven't hit a single person with that move. No. Damn it! Cat stole my kill again! Not only that, you blew me out of the way! Come on! Well, anyone, everyone, I mean, uh, hope you enjoyed. See you next time.